Hey everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Um, today I'm going to address a question that I received related to a recent video that I uploaded, and that was a video uh, tips on how to make a showreel. Okay. Now, during that video, uh, you saw a character that was modeled, and in the final render, you saw the um, the wireframe on the mesh, and I'll show you what I mean. This little picture here. So this is a character modeled by uh, Prasad Posam, and you can clearly see that the uh, the wireframe is visible. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. So we're just going to go back to Maya. Here we go. And we're going to start off by creating a simple scene. I'm just going to simply create a cube here, pull that up, hit 5 for shaded mode, and in our polycube tab, let's increase subdivisions to, I don't know, let's say around 5. Something like so. Okay? Doesn't really matter. All right. Now, first of all, if you want to have this uh, wireframe visible at all, you need to do the render in Mental Ray. If you do it in Maya software or hardware, it's not going to work. But even in Mental Ray, uh, this is not as easy as you think. There are quite a few settings that you have to adjust to make this happen. And that's what we're going to do. Okay. So you're going to make sure you're in object mode. We're going to right click, assign a material. Let's go with a simple blend. And then in our blend material, uh, let me see, where do you go, where do you go? Up here. Okay, next to blend, you got these two black uh, option uh, clickable thingies. I don't know what they're called. Okay, and we're going to select the bottom one right there. Now, if you go to the blend one uh, shader group here, right? Under Contours, you can click on Enable Contour Rendering, and that's what we'll do. On the Color tab here, you can choose what the color of your wireframe will be. So let's just, for fun's sake, uh, change that to dark blue, something like that. Okay? And also, you can change the width of the lines. Okay? But we're still not there yet. So we've got that set up. If we were to render right now, we wouldn't see any wireframe. So next, we're going to go to our render settings. We're going to make sure we're in a mental ray, as I mentioned. And we're going to tweak a couple of things. First, we're going to go to Features. In our Features tab, we're going to go all the way down to Contours. And under Contours, we're going to select Enable Contour Rendering, like that. Okay, and then we're going to go down a bit further to uh, draw by property differences, just like that, and make sure you select around all poly faces, like so. All right, one more thing we need to do we're going to go to our quality tab. Now, if you have a version of Maya prior to 2002, uh, 2014, you probably don't have this problem. But if you've got 2014 or 15, you need to change the sampling mode. Um, by default, it's on Unified Sampling. We're going to click on the drop-down menu, and we're going to go to Legacy Sampling Mode, like so. Okay. So now, uh, it looks like we got everything set up. So we're going to minimize this. So we got the Metal Ray selected, and let's just simply hit Render. And there we go. We got our blue uh, wireframe that we created. Uh, it's uh, visible on a mesh, as you can see, and that's how you do that. Uh, short and sweet. Uh, got any questions? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and see you guys next time. Bye.